All right, hi guys. Um, today, well, this is the first time I've ever done this, but I've been meaning to do it for a really long time. I am going to show how to properly apply textures to the county dog head from the Curious Company here on Second Life. Um, a few of my friends have been wanting me to do this, they've encouraged me, and I am about to release a mod that is really kind of a bitch to, to put on, so I am just going to mess with that. And someone else is here with me, so I don't, I don't know what's going on, I'm not liking him very much, so just ignore that for now. Oops, I have a lot of crap. Okay, um... So first you're gonna want to res the county dog head. If it will load. Alright. This one is the one I've already started on with the mod, um, so just ignore that a little bit. We're going to use a different set of textures. So I can show you what's going on. Pardon the lag, I've never really run this program, this recording program, with Second Life open, so it's probably a little choppy. Woo! Everywhere. Okay. So, we have the kitty dog head here. There's always some kind of issue with the muzzle part here. So whenever you right click it and go into edit mode right here, I'm using uh, Firestorm, so some of y'all may, may look a little different, but it's pretty much the same. You're going to want to check this box here that says edit linked, and select only this little muzzle area. Okay, I can move it around and you can see the teeth there and everything. By the way, if you want to undo a movement, like I move way over here, press Control Z, and it'll fix. Okay. So right here, you can see that there is a small gap. You can see it even more if you uh, deselect Show Highlight. There is a small gap there. So it looks a little funky sometimes. You can move it ever so slightly if you get on the profile view. And just move it till it barely touches the head. It, it might even suffice right there, but you can see a tiny little indent right there. And move it. Okay. Now that might look a little strange with this texture, but with a lot of the textures that I'm going to use, it's going to match up very, very perfectly. I use a grid system that helps me with the sculpt things, so it's usually pretty accurate. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, whenever you move the muzzle, you kind of want to move the nose with it, but if you forget to, it's easy, just move it over a little bit. And whenever you do that, you might be thinking, well, whenever you wear the head, now the jaw is going to give you a major underbite. Well, it doesn't. It's actually very good about putting it together. So you can see uh, that person back there, and myself, it doesn't give you an underbite. And the jaw is aligned nicely. So see better over there. There we go. Okay. So, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I'm sorry. She started doing Gangnam Style dance. Um, it was really loud. <laughs> now you want to take whatever, okay, I can't hear myself. But now you want to take whatever texture is included in your mod kit that you open, and if it says the head, 
of course you put it on the head part, you click it, hold your left mouse button, I think it's left, right, yeah, that's left, 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 and drag it to the selected area, and it puts it on there. For the eyes, I think a lot of people might do it this way, they zoom into the head and just see the little weird triangle part, but I do it this way, and this is probably the harder way. Um, just make sure you don't hit the eyelashes, because then that'll just screw you all up. But put it right there for the eyes. Some mods, in fact one of my mods, will have a separate texture for the eyes, but most of them, the head texture for the Kani dog, will match the eyes as well. Here is the muzzle. Take the muzzle texture, drag it to the muzzle, and it lines so much nicer. Because it's a sculpt, you can see a slight seam no matter what, but uh, it's usually pretty good. Got it. And then the nose. Oh well, yeah, I have the nose colored funky, so. Okay. Oh, we got that looking really nice. And the same thing with the jaw. Whenever you raise the jaw, you... Let me actually get it. So I could show you guys. Okay. What the heck? What's going on? Oh. Okay, that's just lagging. The jaw, do not put it on the tongue or the teeth or anything. Make sure you put it just right there. Okay, yeah, it's already light. So whenever you take that back, it's going to end up looking like... Oh, she got me dancing too. Yeah, anyway, it's gonna look like that face. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Okay, anyway. Hopefully that helps out a little bit, guys. The same can be applied to most other mods, except for uh, a lot of them you won't have to jack with it, but you know, a lot of people do have problems just dragging and dropping the textures just because some mods are just I mean some avatars are just really just decked out with sculpts and you just don't know which one's gonna go to which and sometimes it's a little hard to know where they are so anyway I think the curious brand avatars are made with a lot of mods just simply because they are easier to texture and they are easier to mod but the county dog is an exception in some cases there are a few people that do have heads that are not screwed up, but I actually went out and bought a new one just to see if maybe I had like an old version, but it, it, the new one that you can buy right now, which is 2013, February um, 11th, is still screwed up. I'm using the new head here. So, but I mean, it's a simple fix. You, can, you have the right editing skills, you can easily make it work, and uh... Well, that's pretty much it. If I took this in my inventory right now, it would work out. So, it'll look nice. So, if y'all buy one of my mods or anybody else's mods and you're having trouble with the muzzle, just remember what I show you here, and hopefully you can get it fixed up.